Hi everyone, this is Johnny O'Nose, and I'm playing Subnautica, the Dangerous Creatures Update, and in this Let's Learn episode, I'm going to show you all the locations where you can find the Exosuit's Drill Arm upgrade. In the previous version, uh, the Drill Arm was a nice-to-have. It would allow you to collect large amounts of resources. Now, it is, it is now re a requirement to pick up the new resource, it's called a Kaonite. Kaonite can be found in the inactive lava zone as a large crystal. You break it up and uh, you pick up all the pieces. You cannot pick it up without using the drill arm on the exosuit. So when you make that trip down to the inactive lava zone to get uh, your sulfur, you're now going to have to bring the drill arm to get the Kaonite. So the uh, the fragment can be found in four different places. Now, on different seeds or different maps, I've had them... So, there are four different places, but you can normally find three fragments on the map. Uh, and that kind of differs. Sometimes you can find it in Rec 2. You can always find one in Rec 6 in the Dunes area. But Rec 2, 13, and 1... Uh, sometimes there could be one, sometimes there could be two. In uh, the in the map that when I was playing, uh, when I made the uh, the video for where all the fragments were, I found a ton in Rec 2. So um, we're going to go ahead and look at all those different locations, and uh, that way you can see exactly where to find them in each of the wrecks. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on some speed cheats here and get in our Seamoth. We're head over to Wreck 1 right now, which is to the northeast of uh, where your life pod could potentially spawn. So uh, I'm going to provide a link to a map that uh, I am Zid made, and that could help you find these wrecks. But uh, this wreck has kind of like a smallish wreck next to it, with those little tiger spine things. So to get inside it, Let's see where we gotta go. Okay, so there is a little tube here. A Jeffrey's tube if you're a Star Trek nerd like I am. So let's go ahead and swim inside, turning off all the, uh... Oh, it looks like... Oh, nope, oh, nope. Oh. I like using the laser cutter for light better than I do like the flashlight. So you're gonna need to bring a laser cutter regardless of where you're looking for this thing. The... The arm is going to be behind a sealed door every time. So, luckily, I don't need to recut this door, which is nice. And I was able to find this one down this kind of elevator shaft looking thing. And right over here. So, you can see that the drill arm is available to be scanned. Let's go ahead. Let's get a nice look at it. That's what it looks like. All right, so let's go ahead and speed three out of here. Back up the elevator shaft, through the laser cut, cut door, and back out to safety. So, each one of these, each one of these wrecks, uh, the where's my sea moth? Here it is. I guess that was the easier way to go Welcome rather than the Jeffrey's captain. tube. But uh, each one of these wrecks, you're going to want to bring like two or three tanks with you because it's going to be extremely tough to find the, the fragment deep inside the wreck. So the wrecks are not easy to navigate. They can be uh, pretty dangerous as well. As, as you saw, there were uh, some sand sharks there. So be ready for the trip. Make sure you have your laser cutter fully charged as well as a couple of tanks. So we're going to head over to wreck 13 which is the southernmost grassy peninsula wreck. Now, I was really surprised that I was able to find one of these, or one of the arms in this particular wreck. I did not find one in this seed, though. So in my stream, I was able to find, I was able to find one in this room, I think it was. Let me, uh, yeah, here's the laser cutter with the light. So you can see uh, the bioreactor fragments but no arm in this one. So uh, sometimes you'll find one in here and sometimes you won't. So you're going to have to either suck it up and go to the dunes uh, where all the reapers lie or uh, head over to Rec 13 1 or 2. 
So that was Rex 1 and 13. Let's head over to 2, where when I did that video, I found a ton of them. But ever since that video and all the all the comments after that, um, it seems like you only find one in here. But 2 seems to have a, a, an arm pretty reliably. So if you can find this really large, sorry, this really large wreck, it looks kind of like a C. Uh, this is definitely the one to look for. Let's go look for the entrance here. Uh, I think it's in the in a hole on the side. There it is. All right, let's turn the speed off so I don't make myself sick. All right, let's swim inside. All right, kind of navigate through. You're gonna have to go underneath this little thing, and then there's like a Jeffrey's tube right in the corner over here somewhere. Let's see if I can find it again. If you've watched my streams, you know that my sense of direction is pretty terrible. So here we go. Here's the Jeffrey's tube. That's the dead end. As you can see, that this would be extremely difficult with only one tank. But you can find yourself uh, some prawn soup fragments. If you scan those, you have to scan like 20 of them or something like that. I think the arm requires, yeah, 20 of those to be scanned if you wanted to um, just scan it that way without having to go into the Aurora for the prawn seat, but you can find the battery charger in here too. Also the sea moth. So you're going to be coming here anyways. So let's see, where is this? Where's my beacon? Okay, I guess it look, looks like I have to go through here and it's right here. So you can find them mostly in these boxes, so make sure to look in those boxes. All right, let's go ahead and turn speed on again and get out of here. I make myself sick. All right, let's just turn it off. And <laughs> this 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 wreck is hard to navigate. Where was that Jeffrey's tube? Is this it? This is it. So, like I said, make sure to have lots of tanks on you. Make sure to have some fins on, and. Uh, yeah, don't get yourself stuck in here and drowned, because uh, the the arm is relatively deep inside of this wreck. Really sorry. I'm going to try to slow down my mouse movements here. Uh, this is where we have to go around the catwalk. I heard this. And there we go. Just And here's the opening. So that was Rex 1, 2, and uh, 13, I think it was. So make sure to take a look at the IMZ um, rec map that I'm going to be putting in the description to find out exactly where these all are. So now let's turn the speed on. Now, if you can't find two in those three wrecks, then you're going to have to suck it up and go to the dunes. And if you know the dunes, the dunes is an extremely scary place given the i'm going to turn on the day and i'm going to turn off fog so you can just see how many reapers are in this area so when i came over here earlier to drop the beacon i was able to find about about three of them but um the wreck itself looks like this you can get to 300 meters to bring the sea moth like right above it so you don't need to get the the mark 2 pressure compensator so you can just use the mark 1 to get like right here so let's turn off the speed and then uh, go inside here and uh, this one if, so for each wreck you're at least going to need to laser cut one door so in this one, it was in a small room with laser cut uh, sealed doors on each side. You look in the box, and there is your drill arm fragment. All right, folks. So this is Johnny Onos playing Subnautica, the Dangerous Creatures update. If you have any further questions about Subnautica or any of the other games that I support, please go ahead and leave a question in the comments below. Thanks so much, folks. See y'all in the next episode.